Hey, what's going on everybody and a warm welcome back to the Whiskey Cove and on today's episode I fly blind This is a series where my wife pours me a glass of whiskey and I have no idea what's in that glass You know the drill folks run that video All right then folks, let's get into this whiskey shall we and again we are looking for number one We're looking for the type we're looking for the ABV for number two, it needs to be within 4% ABV. Three, we're looking for age. Four, we're looking if it's finished or not. Five, we're looking for the cost, it needs to be within $5. And then six, we're gonna try and narrow it down to a specific bottle. And then also we're gonna give it a bit of a blind score out of 100, that's not gonna count towards the points, but we're gonna give it that blind score nevertheless. Let's get into the whiskey here. Looking more so of kind of like a mahogany, almost like a like an oak hardwood flooring type of color. Looks pretty thin in the glass, not too much coat in there as well. Let's go in for a nose here. Almost getting a little bit of raspberry on this, straight up front. Kind of like a really nice berry note there, like a red, uh, red berry. Not so much strawberry, but definitely raspberry is definitely there. Very mellow in a lot of the favors, not too spiky on the nose, not too hot there as well. I'm getting uh, maybe like a touch of pine wood there as well. And maybe a little bit of chocolate. Very inviting nose so far. Let's go in for a taste here, folks. So straight away, I get this kind of almost like a ginger note. Like a like a gingerbread note. It's really it's actually really spicy as well. So I'm leaning toward more towards a rye on this one. It has a lot of other funky stuff going on here as well. But definitely it kind of has like a gingerbread kind of note there as well. It also has, like I said, a lot of that rye spice, a lot of pepper on the nose, or, or, or on the palate, I should say. I think that the, the spicy notes that I'm getting is not from the ABV. I think it's more from the mash bill. Let's go in for another taste here. I'm definitely getting some peanut there as well which leans me more towards a Heaven Hill product here. So I'm getting like a peanut butter, like a really buttery peanut butter note, which I only get with Heaven Hill products. So if you remember last time, I think it was episode two or three of this series, I got a peanut butter note, and I was thinking that it was Knob Creek, but I was so fixated on Heaven Hill that I completely missed out Evan Williams. I don't think this is Evan Williams. I do think this is Elijah Craig. So let's go through some of the guesses here. But I'm, for type, I'm gonna say bourbon, because I, even though I was getting some rye spice notes, Heaven Hill or Elijah Craig from me drinks quite hot because of the high rye mash bill that it does have. So I'm gonna say bourbon, ABV. If I think, if this is what I think it is, which is an Elijah Craig barrel proof, I'm gonna say 60. 3% ABV because I'm kind of hedging. I have um, I have the Elijah Craig's from like 2018 all the way up to this year. So we have a bunch of those, but they're all right around the 63% alcohol mark. Age has to be 12 years unless it's a store pick. Is it a store pick? Look, I'm just gonna stick with the 12 years. It could very well be a store pick for Elijah Craig. If it is, that's just a hard beat. If it's not 12 years, it's right on the money because all the Elijah Craig barrel proof are all 12 years unless it's the store picks. Finish, I'm gonna say no, I don't believe this finish. Cost, so this needs to be within $5. So the cost of Elijah Craig has, has changed a lot from the years that I have on the shelf. So I think the earliest one that I bought was probably around $60 and then in other cases it's going up to 80. So if it, this, I'm gonna say 70, but if this is an Elijah Craig barrel proof, I'm just gonna give the benefit of the doubt of, for this, for that. So if it's one of the early ones that cost $60, I'm gonna give myself a point for 70. If it's one of the older ones that cost more closer to $80, I'm still gonna give the point for that. So in bottle, I'm gonna say Elijah Craig Bauer proof. And heck, let's take a stab on one of the years. So I have a couple of ones up there which are open. I think I'm gonna go, hmm. I'm gonna say Elijah Craig, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I could just leave it as that. So if it is an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, I'm gonna give myself a point for that, but let's just try to be as creative as we can. I'm gonna say this is the A120. I have no idea which one it is, but heck, let's go for it. And then a blind uh, score out of 100. Let's give this a 71 out of 100. Cool. 
So just to recap here, folks, we have type bourbon. We have ABV, I went for 63%. Age, I went for 12 years finish, no. Cost, I said 70. Bottle, I think that it is. It's an Elijah Craig barrel proof. I ultimately went for the A120. I have the answer key in my pocket here, so then let's find out what was in this glass. So this was, hmm, yes and no. We were close and we were not. So this, what we drank today was the old Fitzgerald bottled in Bon Bourbon, nine year. So I'm a little bit sad actually. Well, I'm not a little bit sad. I'm actually a little bit happy that I was able to try this bottle because I have this bottle. This bottle hasn't been opened. So this was definitely a fresh crack for me. I've never tried Old Fitz, so this is definitely an experience. So then let's run through our scores here. Type I said bourbon, it is a bourbon. 63% alcohol I said. Maybe I was swung by the fact that I thought it was an Elijah Craig barrel proof. But of course this is bottled in bond, so it's gonna be 50% ABV. So we get one point for bourbon. We don't get any points for the 63% there. I said 12 years, this is nine years. So we do not get the point for that. I said finished, I said no, so we get the point for that there. A $70, you know, I, I, I wanna say this is right around $75 if I'm completely honest. I'll double check on the computer and if there is around $70, I'll give myself the point there and I'll put it on the screen for you folks. So I'm gonna give myself a conditional three points. I said Elijah Craig barrel proof. It is not Elijah Craig. It is Old Fitzgerald, made by the same distillery. So the last time we had something from Heaven Hill, I went off and said it was Knob Creek because I was getting the peanut note and I couldn't associate it with Evan Hill, uh, in, uh, with Evan Williams. And this time I thought it was Elijah Craig, but it was, Old Fitzgerald, which is made by Elijah Craig, but it definitely has a lot of those notes. You definitely have a lot of the peanut butter notes there as well, much like the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. It drinks quite hot actually for a 50% ABV, which is really surprising, which is the biggest takeaway for today. I said 71 over 100, which is a solid score. I think that's probably, like I said, I haven't tried this, but from what I hear, I think that's probably right in line with what a lot of people think about this whiskey. So, point wise today, we had the bourbon, we didn't have the ABV, we didn't have the age, we had the finish, and conditionally we had the score. So we had three out of six, conditionally. And like I said, hopefully I had the, uh, the price right, and then it takes us to three out of six. So really excited that I was able to try this. Gonna sip on this for the rest of the night and kind of really pick apart the flavors on this. Maybe expect a bit of a review coming out here shortly. And it would be interesting to see. I give this a 71 over 100 for a blind score. And then when we pick it apart a little bit, when this opens up, let's see if that score changes. So as we always say on this channel, as we drink through the wounds, whiskey one glass at a time. Cheers.